There are several ways that Computer Services communicates with the staff and faculty here at Eastern Arizona College. The easiest might be on the Beacon homepage in the Messaging Center. Here you will see important messages about items such as when our systems will be down for server maintenance. All you need to do is open Beacon and you'll see these messages right in the middle of the screen, sometimes even highlighted in red. Here are some other ways that we communicate with you. Knowledge Base The Knowledge Base link is found on the Beacon homepage but you may need to scroll down a bit to see the link. Knowledge Base contains articles for all areas of the college. You may search within a specific area or all areas for any given topic of interest. If there are no articles about a particular EAC-related topic, you can always request a new article by selecting this button in the top right-hand corner of the page. Presentations or videos at various meetings, like this one. Gila Monster Communicator articles, which can also be found on Knowledge Base. Email is our primary method of communicating important information to all of you. Because of this, it is critical that you check and read your email often. They may contain important and or priority information. Be familiar with our style of email communication, which should help you differentiate between emails from us and malicious phishing attempts. We will never ask you for your passwords or account information, especially in an email. Oh, this sounds like it's gonna be hard. Help desk requests. You can create a new request by going to the Beacon homepage and selecting New IT Help Desk Request. Work item requests. These are specific types of requests for things like computer lab work, programming service requests, or mediated room requests. Create a work item by going to the Beacon homepage and selecting New Work Item. If you don't see a work item category for the area where you need help, create a help desk request instead. Any email, phone call, or other communication you receive asking for your EAC username or password is a phishing attempt. This is something we would never ask for. Any communication you receive, including pop-ups, saying something is wrong with your computer, and asking you to contact someone outside of EAC to fix it is probably a hacking attempt. Don't go there. For your own sake, for our students and our community, do all that you can to help protect the personally identifiable information we have stewardship over here at EAC. Our staff and faculty that have access to this information are also the best defense we have to protect it. If you ever have any questions about the legitimacy of a communication you received, call Computer Services immediately at 8371. Our hours of operation are Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. If you're going to be involved in an EAC event outside these hours and will be using technology, email Thomas Thompson for his contact information. Computer Services personnel are not on call outside of these hours, so please do not call them on their personal phone numbers. If it is truly an emergency and not a failure to plan ahead, contact Thomas Thompson he will make the determination on whether to contact other computer service personnel during their off hours. Remember, the first Saturday of every month is Patch Saturday. We are updating all of our servers, so all services will be down or intermittent between the hours of 5 a.m. and maybe noon. Computer Services, this is Sandy. How can I help you today? Yes, 8371 is the correct number call for assistance today.